Debussy is just a straight up master composer. Check out how he's using pitch range and the arc of the melody in Claire de Lune here. Hey, what's up? I'm Avi. Welcome back to May Melody Madness, where I'm celebrating the release of my course, the Melody Mastery mini course. More on that at the end of the video. So what was I talking about a little bit just now with the pitch arc and all of that? The big thing I'm talking about here is melodic contour. All that is, is the linear journey that a melody takes along its path to completing a phrase. That's, that's it. Not a big deal at all. But it's a really important detail to keep in mind. And Debussy just gave us a master class in keeping contour top of mind, right? Let's dive into this a little bit. So as you can see, first of all, we have this big jump. This cross staff jump is important. It's signifying on an ensemble level that we are moving from low to high. Now moving down, we see this really, really steady descent, literally just by step, right? So we're at this D flat and F, then we're at this C and E flat. There is these two bar mini phrases that happen here. We have one mini phrase right here, and all that's showing us is one jump and slow descent. Then we have a continued descent over here. The descent is briefly paused. And then this next two fra bar phrase here, this little micro phrase, is another point of descent ever so slightly, every single time popping up, peaking up by sometimes a fourth, sometimes just a third. Here it's a fourth and it's a fourth as well. And here in our final two bar micro phrase. So we have these sections of descent and rest. Descent, peak back up, descend again and rest. Descend, peak back up, descend and rest. Until we finally come back down to our very end point over here Debussy took contour into account when writing this, and you can too when you're writing your own melodies. So be like Debussy. Think about contour. Use it intentionally. Think about pitch range, the space between the highest note and the lowest note. We have here the lowest note so far is this E flat, and our highest note is this A. Right? If you want more melody tools just like this that'll help you write a great melody, check out my free training, Seven Ways to Write a More Effective Melody. Very practically titled, yes, absolutely. If you wanna go even further than that, you should check out my course, the Melody Mastery Mini Course. There, I'm gonna give you all the tools I learned in music school and beyond. I've packaged it all really, really neatly and easy to understand language. Go and check that out and the free training at justwritemusic.com. WC is means so much to me as a composer. I've just been kind of low-key obsessed with his music for a long time now. I listen to WC a lot just for pleasure, truly. Being able to write like him and get some of that affect is really important to me, and I can help you do the exact same thing when you click on the video popping up on your screen. I'll show you how to write a melody just like Debussy. Thanks so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I'm Avi. Don't forget to be awesome.